Good afternoon, primary schools. Lovely to see you again. So for this personal development session, we are going to be looking at Children's Mental Health Week. Now this is starting next Monday, and so I thought it'd be a really good idea to think about how we can express ourselves and get thinking about how we can celebrate this amazing um, initiative next week. So, what does express yourself mean? Well, I'm going to give you 20 seconds to have a look at the photos and I want you to maybe name in your own mind what you think the pictures represent. So hopefully you've had a think and, and got a couple. So we've got poetry, we've got taking photos, so photography, music, colouring, dancing, making a shape, it could be drawing, it could be anything you want. And this is not, these are not the only things you can do to express yourself, express yourself. but there are a few ideas. And so we want to get you thinking about how maybe you can express yourself. But what does mental health look like? So I think this is sometimes a little bit confusing because we can't see it. So I think everyone gets what it means to be healthy for their body. It normally means to eat well. It normally means to be a healthy size. And it normally means looking after your uh, body to make sure that you are as healthy and you live for as long as possible. And I think most people understand what a healthy body looks like and how we do that. We eat well. We exercise. I don't think it's as obvious to think about how we keep our brain healthy, our mind healthy. So I gave you this picture because this is a little bit silly, but it helps uh, me think about it. So just like our body, we do have to think about how we can exercise our brain. And so foods can help this. But more than anything, it's about doing things which make us feel good. It's about doing things that give us a sense of relief. It's about doing things which make us feel happy and joy. And so we're going to try and show you how to do that today. But overall, what we are looking for is a healthy body plus a healthy mind equals a really happy person. And so we are going to focus on the mind today. So why does finding healthy ways to express yourself matter? So I want you to have a little think about that. Why does expressing yourself make you feel better? So maybe um, you've got some ideas, but if you haven't, here are some ideas for us. So to start with, we are going to talk today about being creative and hopefully how that is a form of expression and how that can make you feel better. So if we look at the little girl painting, I think that's just joy, isn't it? She just looks like she's really enjoying herself. She's definitely got herself in a mess. And so I think with her, she's having such a good time. If you look at the boy singing towards the bottom page, we can see here, it's almost like he's just forgotten about anything else in the world and he is just expressing himself and I think that's a lovely thing. If you look at the boy and the girl with the crayons, I think with these two it's more a sense of wonder. They're like learning and they kind of seem a little bit in awe. They seem a little bit like their 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 mind is somewhere else and they've been they've been transported to a different place. And last but not least a little girl in the top right hand corner. She just seems like she's very peaceful. She just seems like she's in her best moment. It seems like to her, all her cares have gone away. And we, and we believe that expressing yourself and being creative can help you feel like one or all of these different children. So we can find creativity in many different ways. And I'm going to show you one example now in a book called the called Beautiful Oops. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this YouTube link. Now this is going to show a video, but the audio, the sound doesn't work, so I'm going to read over it. And I want you to follow the story and think about how they've been creative. So 
So Beautiful Oops by Barney Salzberg. Oops, a torn piece of paper. It's just the beginning, in this case of the crocodile smile. Every spill has lots. Bent paper Something to celebrate. A little drip of paint lets your imagination run wild. A scrap piece, a scrap of paper can be fun to play with. A smudge and a smear can make magic appear. A stain has potential if you play with its shape. Holes in your paper are worth exploring. When you think you've made a mistake, Oops. Think of it as an opportunity to make something beautiful. So I'm just going to go back to our PowerPoint. But hopefully you saw there how the author of that book was so creative in turning maybe mistakes or accidents into something beautiful and creative. And so this leads us nicely onto what we'd like you to do. So how can we express ourselves, but how can we also maybe make other people feel better? So we can see here we have drawing, music, origami, and we have dance. But I'm going to set you a task today, and it's the opportunity to be creative and through what you do, maybe make other people have a little laugh, because I know this made me giggle. So, we'd like you to do something called the squiggle game. So, place to be have come up with an activity which they think can really help your mental health. So, for Children's Mental Health Week, we want you to think about playing the squiggle game. So you need a piece of paper and some colours, crayons, pencils, doesn't matter. And you just have to squiggle, any squiggle, don't concentrate. Once you've done that, you need to spot what you can see in the squiggle and try and turn it into something. In this case, we've turned this squiggle into a panda. Once you've turned this little squiggle into an animal, can you even add maybe a speech bubble? to say what you think this is doing, what your animal, what your vehicle, whatever you turn it into, maybe give us a little quote about what they may be saying. So, hopefully you understand the squiggle game because that's what we're gonna ask you to do this week. So, I want you to have a go at the squiggle task and I want you to think about how you can express yourself. And I want you to do this over the weekend, ready for next week, because we've got so many exciting activities for you to take part in, and they are here. So, 
Activities for mental um, for Children's Mental Health Week is all based around It's OK to campaign. So you can see here we have three main things we'd like you to take part in. So we want you to uh, write a poem or expressive writing, and this will be a competition. And we want it to be based around the theme of It's OK to. So if it's your poem or your creative writing piece, we want you to do a piece, do something which has the main idea being it's okay to. Secondly, we'd like you to have a think about how you can express yourself through art competitions. So you could choose to do this activity. We want you to produce a piece of art that tackles the stigma around mental health. So all the things we've spoken about, about how it makes you feel, joy, happiness, expressing yourself, makes other people feel. We want you to think about how you can make a picture that lets us know that. Last but not least, on Friday the 5th of February for your assembly, we'd like you to dress to express. And to do this, you have to wear something colourful that represents you feeling really happy and expressing yourself. So we want you to come to your assembly dressed to express. Can you please send all work to Seesaw or, or to Vic Support? at Arc Victoria, but I will add a lot of this to the messages anyway. So that's it from me. Have a lovely, lovely weekend, and I hope you um, all enjoy doing some or all of these activities. Thank you very much. Goodbye.